Okay, so what up, SOS family? Me and Josh. Yeah, it's recording still. <laughs> so me and Josh are at Bandit Fitness. They actually allow us to record. Like that's so blessed. Right? That's oh, blessed. Planet. <laughs> Shh, yo, don't talk shit, bro. They're allowing <laughs> us to record, so we're yeah, we're blessed. All right, all right. So anyway, uh, Josh is gonna be doing his cow sinks. You're gonna do your cow sinks, yeah. Right? Yeah, I got my uh, rings. So I I'm going to be doing cow sinks workout, but. This video is pretty much for a friend of mine uh, to show her how the workout's going to go uh, because I'm making a program for her and I just figured like, you know what, let me just upload this video to YouTube for those of you guys who are probably just looking for a full body workout to do at the gym. But again, this is not going to be calisthenics. This workout, I won't say specifically for her, uh, it's more like a basic gym full body workout that I, that I would pretty much give like anybody who is a client of mine. And by the way, my, I'm losing my voice, so if I sound weird, if my voice is cracking, or I sound like I'm going through puberty, trust me, I've, I've been sick for like the past two days or something. I don't know what happened, but whatever, I digress. Let's just get into the workout. So what up, SOS family? I am here in Planet Fitness doing a full body workout. Now, this workout is not for me, even though it's a pretty good workout and it is inspiring me to start a bulk, but I'm still working on that. If I do start bulking, I'll let you guys know. Probably two weeks after doing the bulk. Anyway, I digress. This workout is not for me. This is actually for a friend of mine just to show her how the workout will go. But I decided to upload to YouTube also to help some of you guys who are, I guess, want to get into the gym. Of course, I love calisthenics, but calisthenics will not be the only thing I'll be doing, just a primary thing I'll be doing. So let me tell you guys from right now, this workout is actually pretty difficult. I had a tough time doing it, but it is possible. Now, for those of you guys who are really fit, who have it in you to do the entire workout, please, I do recommend that you try to do the entire workout in full. The workout is in the description box down below. Now, for those of you guys who aren't on that level, I wrote down what workouts, I mean, what exercises are optional. So if you're deciding to do the full body workout, so push, pull, and legs, I have the exercises that are optional that you could take out if you want, if it's too hard. And if, again, if you're strong enough, you can keep them in. Now, if you don't want to do the full body workout, you can separate the upper body portion and the lower body portion into separate days. So you could do upper body on Sunday, do lower body on Monday, and do upper body on Tuesday, do lower body on Wednesday. Now, if you do split up the workout, I do not recommend that you take out any of the optional exercises. I recommend that you do every exercise since you're splitting up the workout. So you guys are watching me use the Smith machine to do uh, most of the leg workout. And again, I'm not really a fan of the Smith machine as I said before, but I am just using what I have at my disposal. Now please guys, when, you are, when you're starting off the leg portion of the workout, whether you're doing it separately or you're doing it for the full body day, please do warm up sets. Do like two warm up sets of like just the bar or really lightweight so that you can just get used, especially if you're using the Smith machine, so you can get used to your stance, get used to how you're gonna go about the exercise. If you just go straight into your heavier weights, again, you may hurt your knee, and I feel like that's something uh, that I failed to do when I hurt my knee. I didn't really warm up when I should have. So let me say something. Lately, guys, as I, as I said, I think earlier on this video, I have been feeling tempted to do a bulk. I kind of do want to bulk to 185, like one bulk, and then cut down to 175. I pretty much just wanna see like what my body has the potential to be like if I were to just do a, a nice solid bulk. I know my biggest issue coming to the bulk is going to be the diet. Like the training part is easy and I'm jealous of you guys who have the diet part just down packed, like eating 3,000, 3,500 calories a day. Like for me, that's gonna be pretty tough because I don't really eat that much throughout the day in the first place. Like I really have to to force myself to think of things to eat or I really have to just like, you know, spend money when I'm at work because when I'm at work, I typically only bring, I only bring one meal to work a day and then the second meal I pretty much buy like a Subway sandwich, but it costs so much money, you know? So again, the diet part is gonna be the hardest part, but doing this workout felt really good. Like it really did feel good doing it. And I really do want to mix it in with my calisthenics. Now, again, I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. I ain't trying to be size over strength. I am just trying to, I guess, see the potential of what my body could be like if I were to work towards what I want it to look like. Like, 
I I'm happy with how my body looks. It's cool. Like it's it's lean. I can still do a lot of my calisthenics and whatnot. But again, I'm just curious. I'm just curious to see how things could go if I were to bulk. During the pull exercises, when I did the lat pull down, the row, the the straight arm lat pull down, and the bicep curls. Please guys, please focus on squeezing at the end of the rep. So when you're doing your cable row, for example, or you're doing your lat pull down, please squeeze your back as you come down. Like really try to bring your elbows in so you can feel that contraction in your back. Now, for the pushing exercises, I supersetted them. So for this, I did close grip uh, dumbbell press, which really, like, it really gives you a nice, uh, pump in your chest and I feel like it's a lot healthier on your shoulders than when you're doing shoulder with uh, uh, Bench pressing but again if you use proper form your shoulders should be fine after that I went to the cable flies again That's a good exercise to isolate your chest and it feels really good to do after doing the close grip dumbbell press then I pretty much finished off with this super set of me doing a dumbbell overhead press along with uh, lateral raises to rep my front delts and my side delts to isolate them. Now I like doing the overhead press like this instead of flaring on my elbows because I feel like it's a lot healthier for your shoulders and it gives you a better range of motion. Now because you're super setting, I would recommend that you do lighter weights. I easily could have done like 30 pounds doing the overhead presses but because I'm super setting, I went down to 20 pounds and I still get a good pump in my delts now this workout again is pretty difficult so if you have to separate the workout please do so just go at your own pace have fun and make your gains okay so ss family i'm out of here stay blessed done